So the, the, I had to fill in for Coatsy this week for a couple of games, including Drew's thousandth hour. I saw that. Congratulations. Yeah. So I was doing quite a on moment. the game uh, for the big uh, match up there and the win over the Nashville Predators. But then Friday they were in Ottawa, but I couldn't travel because I didn't have a negative PCR test <sighs> in time to be able to go over the border to do the game in Canada. <laughs> I had to do it from home. 14 oh. seconds delayed, for Christ's 14 sake. 14 seconds? Yes. That's like half a shift. Yeah, that's up, back, and off. Huh? Jesus. <laughs> so, Tim is doing the call from Ottawa, uh huh. and he, a goal would happen, and he would throw it to me, but I haven't seen it yet. Right. I my didn't delay. see it. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm there, like, kind of stretching. <laughs> To, till I see it on my, I'm watching the game on a computer monitor because right. I got to stream it from an NHL site that I get. Oh, and it was just, it was dizzying because I'm listening to the game in real time, but seeing everything 14 seconds delayed. Oh man, well, I, you not got, ideal. You got through it, obviously, uh, but congratulations on being able to do the thousandth game. That's quite a, uh, that's quite a bullet point on your resume. Yeah, well, I come to find out, Harry, through some people on Twitter, that the reason Coatsy was off had nothing to do with a detached retina. It was St. Patrick's Day. St. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Patrick's Day, that, that was Thursday night. I was yes. up in uh, Nick's Roast Beef with Shander doing a uh, college basketball betting show. Oh, really? Jeez. <laughs> Where's your agent to book that on St. Patty's Day, right? You gotta have a. You gotta call your agent and say, oh. What's, "What is going on back there?" 